What if you have installed a lot of unnecessary plugins to your WordPress website, then you uninstall those plugins and you still have a lot of data left of those plugins in the database of your WordPress website and you don't know what to do. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to fix that issue, how to clean up your database, how to make your WordPress website less heavy or lightweight, I can say, and make it more faster with these two free plugins. So let's get started, guys. Myself, Hardik Patel from ecomhardy.com. And if you're here for the first time, make sure you subscribe to this channel and you will learn more about WordPress. So I am here now on the WordPress admin panel. What I will do is see, I have a lot of plugins here installed and many of those plugins are not necessary. And I have decided to deactivate those plugins, delete these plugins from the directory. And still I feel like my database is not getting lighter. I will go to the plugins and then add new plugins and I will get a help of plugins to remove those plugins database it's strange i know but it is how it works so there are two free plugins i'm gonna talk about wp optimize this is my go-to plugin so simply install now and wait for the activation i'm gonna activate later another plugin is i will say database cleanup when you search database or cleanup and there would be two options you will have either database cleaner or advanced database cleaner updated four weeks ago which is good compatible with version of wordpress which is good and it has high ratings as well so i will install now and activate the third plugin of course you don't have to but in case if you want to you can also try this one this is good plugin and in future if you want to clean up the media data then go with this plugin media cleaner and this is also one of my favorite plugins once you have installed and activated those plugins simply let me activate first and this one also let me activate so both plugins I wanted is activated now. Now let me go to my install plugins directory list of the installed plugins here and let me check which plugins I want to uninstall and which plugins I want to keep it installed. So I have uninstalled the unnecessary plugins and activated the necessary ones. So now what I want to do is I want to remove this one image optimizer by Elementor. So simply delete this plugin and I also want to get rid of the PDF invoice one. So I'll just delete that one as well. Let me double check here. So I delete that one as well. And I also want to get rid of WP Rocket. So I get rid of that. Now, once I have cleaned up and deactivated and deleted the unnecessary ones, everything you do here one step before in the very beginning what you have to do is get the backup of your website so of course i forgot to tell you if you want to use the backup plugin you can always install the new plugin the backup plugin called up draft plus which is another good plugin adapt and this is the backup plugin simply install now and activate the backup plugin and make sure you take the backup before you make any changes to your website so if you want to learn about how to backup your website before making any changes just to be safe here is the video so once you have done the backup of your website what you have to do is simply go to wp optimize go to database here and what i will do is i will run all selected optimization or maybe i double check the rest of the options here maybe i can remove the expired transients as well remove all the transients as well not only expired and rest of data there is no any data to clean up so i tick the tick boxes the relevant ones and then run all selected Optimizations. I will wait for the optimization to complete. Once the optimization is complete, most of the time this is the one which takes longer time. Once those things are done, what you have to do is go to the tables here and you can see all the tables of your database from here. And now you can also check for these ones, not installed ones. So you can see here print invoice backing sleep plugin. I have installed it so I can safely remove that plugin database as well. And it will empty 16 KB from the database. Now I'll search for relevant ones again. Or what you can do is simply copy this part, it will see, then control F and enter so you see there is another plugin here product lister etsy this one is also consuming 16 kb data which you can remove it and that's how you can empty the unnecessary files which are still there if you are not sure whether this file would be in use even though it says not installed if you for the safer side if you want to double check simply click on that file and it will open the plugin page where you can check the plugin name and you will realize whether this plugin is really installed in your website or not right so once it happens what you can do is simply click on remove and it will ask you to take the backup you say i understand do not show this warning and also it will take the backup and then simply remove the table that's how it will remove the table of course it will take a backup of that particular database and then will remove 
if you don't want this to happen each time you can always uninstall the updraft plus plugin because you see now before deleting that you see uh, it has taken the backup here the backup file of the database is done so it's for safer side and you have to remove all these unnecessary ones or the ones are not in use for the non-installed plugins you have to remove them one by one so it will make your database lighter so what you do is next is wp database cleaner simply click on that that is the second database cleaner plugin we are going to use and here you can check whether any of the ones not in use you can clean up so you can select all and then clean and then apply so these are the two basic plugins you will require to clean up the data of your database the third plugin if you really want you can go with cleanup again and you go and select this one database cleaner by Jordi Miao so let me install now and activate this plugin of course I will also do some media cleaner as well but not now maybe in future so activate now or here on the left hand side you see here dashboard Miao apps and select the database cleaner so now what I have to do is I can check this you can set the auto clean as well so it will automatically clean the unnecessary ones from here i set the mode easy you can set to pro mode let me let me get it finished first so what it is doing is it's checking all the files and database and it is cleaning the cache files as well as the unnecessary transient and everything deleting about 85 mb data so once it's done you can see here the the cache files are gone so the transient you can see expired transient before some was there it's done you can set it to you can change the op option to export mode click on that and now you can manually select the different tasks or transient auto manual duplicate meta ping bags but i would highly suggest you to keep it simple and go with easy mode if you don't know what to do now go next to tables and here on the tables you see here there are about 12 pages files or tables you can see some of the tables it shows used by unknown be careful do not delete them because without knowing them if you delete it you will create a mess now these all names let me pick it 200 this is by the ebay categories plugin this is e triple w plugin these all plugins are in use so i would say assign to plugin or you can assign to particular plugin or if you don't want to you can keep it simple if you know that you don't have to worry about don't touch it do not delete it i'll keep it so manually check one by one whichever it shows unknown or you can also filter by unknown then check all the unknown ones and make sure it is assigned to something either theme or plugin so i don't know about this thing w wc rate limit so maybe in future maybe i'll re remove it but not now wc product attribute lookup no these all are being used by the theme so i will not delete them so far all the tables i found with unknown title are in use by the plugins or themes so i will not touch them i'll go to settings and logs here i will set it to seven days age threshold and i will set it to auto clean mode and it will be applied on the items which are older than seven days or whatever days you decide and it will automatically clean them everything else looks good so that's it so you cleaned up all the necessary things that's how you delete unnecessary database files and clean up your wordpress data and make your website much faster hope you enjoy watching this video guys thanks for watching till the end and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet so you will not miss any wordpress related tutorial videos on this channel and until next time thanks for watching see you take care bye bye